Tonicity is the relative concentration of solutions which determine the direction and extent of diffusion. Here on the screen you can see salt which is a solute, water which is a solvent and salt water is a solution. When one substance dissolves into another, a solution is formed. A solution is a homogeneous mixture consisting of a solute dissolved into a solvent. The solute is the substance that is being dissolved while the solvent is the dissolving medium. Solutions can be formed with many different types and forms of solutes and solvents. The concentration of a solution is a measure of the amount of solute that has been dissolved in a given amount of solvent or solution. A concentrated solution is one that has a relatively large amount of dissolved solute, whereas a dilute solution is one that has a relatively small amount of dissolved solute. Imagine you have a glass that has 100 ml of water and you add 15 gram of table sugar to the water. The sugar dissolves and the mixture that is now in the glass is made up of a solute, the sugar, that is dissolved in the solvent, the water. The mixture of a solute in a solvent is called a solution. Imagine now that you have a second glass with 100 ml of water and you add 45 gram of table sugar to the water. Just like the first glass, the sugar is the solute and the water is the solvent. But now you have two mixtures of different solute concentrations. In comparing two solutions of unequal solute concentration, the solution with the lower solute concentration which is glass 1 is hypotonic and the solution with the higher solute concentration which is glass 2 is hypertonic. Here you can see a hypotonic solution. In this condition, the solution outside the cell has a higher solute concentration than the fluids present inside the red blood cell. Consequently, the water molecules from the interior of the red blood cell will move out, causing the red blood cells to shrink. In the second diagram, we have a hypotonic solution. In this condition, the solution outside the cell has a lower solute concentration than the fluids present inside the red blood cell. As a result, the water molecules from outside will move in the red blood cell causing it to swell up. The third one is an isotonic solution. The relative concentration of water molecules and the solute on either side of the cell membrane is the same. In such a solution, there is no net movement of water molecules across the cell membrane. So now we come to the conclusion that when red blood cell is placed in a hypotonic solution, there is net water gain and the cell swells up and when the same cell is placed in a hypotonic solution, there is net water loss and the cell shrinks. Whereas if the cell is placed in an isotonic solution, there is no net loss or gain.